You're listening to Ned's AFL Unpopular Opinions. I just want to put it out there that I think Collingwood and Carlton are best friends and love each other. I nah, wouldn't have thought so. Nah, nah. Well, I, have you been here on a Saturday afternoon? Well, Turn recently, yeah, I saw coming? someone walk their dog and it was quite, no. quite friendly. Uh, things have changed from when we were really at it. Um, mm-hmm. No, we're not friends. The mm-hmm. one thing about maybe a little bit of love is that we always played in front no. of big crowds. Let me tell you, yeah. there's a lot of respect yeah. for the both clubs. Yeah. But you haven't won a premiership for a while until last year. Oh, until you haven't won a premiership. Ten. You won 10 as well. 1990. When was your last one? A while ago. <laughs> And what sort of yeah, years. what sort of bloke would walk into Victoria Park yeah. wearing a suit coat? <laughs> what a joke these silver spoon blokes, mate! Don't worry about that. All they worry about is uh, who was your former uh, best mate, your prime minister, Malcolm Malcolm Fraser. Fraser. Oh, that's right, Fraser. All you did was steal his cutlery. You blokes got a little bit of it. <laughs> <laughs> did you sell it? <laughs> no. Can you throw it in the bin? Can you describe the atmosphere here when Carlton and Collingwood oh, did play oh, each other yeah, at this no, particular seriously. ground? Because no. you know these days we're used to a sold-out MCG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but what was the what was no, it no, like it was, when it was proper seriously. fair dinkum tribal? You got no idea, seriously. I don't know if you were ever here back in the seventies and eighties. No, I wasn't born. <laughs> you weren't born. Oh, well. No, I wasn't. Well, you should have been born. born. Because you oh, thank you. Seriously. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, look, let me tell you, it was awesome. Uh, there was vitriol from when you walked in the gate <laughs> to when you left. Uh, I'll give you a bit of mail. I, park, I bought a brand new Commodore mm-hmm. it, it just before the Collingwood game, and I, I, and I, I thought to myself, I'm pretty smiling at this beautiful dog dick red car. You know, I'm driving into the to Collingwood, park the car, get out of it, walk inside. I go back after the game, wipe the blades off, <laughs> two tyres down. Mm. I've had a. Sh- that's a really good day, you know what I mean? Mm. Like a brand Mate, two new two tyres down. I thought you would have lost the four wheel. <laughs> Should have been on bricks. I couldn't carry them out. <laughs> now, Sellers, you're standing here at the site of the Collingwood Social oh, Club. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Now, you would have always been welcome here. No, they didn't like me much. <laughs> but I did love Billy Pickin. Billy and I used right. to have a very big... Uh, big... Billy loved you too. Oh, yeah. We he reckons it. he had more best on grounds playing on you than any man on earth, he said. <laughs> he probably did. <laughs> <laughs> but he didn't win any premierships. No, oh, yeah, you remember that's those? A, that's a good mm. comeback. Thanks yeah, for that. Thanks very much. <laughs> anyway, so uh, but uh, anyway, so the the actual vitriol from the people was extraordinary, you know. And what kind of heckles do you remember? Oh. Do you, do you reckon any... I can't say them, you idiot? <laughs> no, just go on. Do you understand <laughs> this the, is a safe the space. vocabulary of the Collingwood people? What was it like just walking down the race no. after a lot? <laughs> no, on the way home, I'll tell you. After one game, we played here and uh, we won, won the game. We run off the ground. And there was a Sheila, she's about five foot two, mm-hmm. okay? And she's got an umbrella, and I'm looking at her and I'm going... I think that's a woman. Uh, the, oh, well, yeah, yeah, so well, she, you know, a girlish. woman with an umbrella. Yes. Yeah, I don't know how old she was, 40 yeah. or something right. like that. And I'm running off, and I'm, I'm sort of going this way. She's coming this way. She's got the umbrella, and I'm stabbed it into my chest. <laughs> mm. I'm going... So that was, that, was, that, was that woman Mary Poppins? <laughs> I, I, no, no, she no. didn't fly away. Okay, no okay. worries. But anyway, oh, but let me say that she... I think it might have been my mum. Could have been. She was only tiny, <laughs> like you. Yeah. Anyway, so there she... <laughs> so she jabbed me in the chest, and I grabbed the umbrella, and I smashed it over my knee, just threw it on the ground and ran off. I'm going inside, and there's blood coming out of my chest. <laughs> I'm going, what sort of person does that? What were the showers like, mate? Cold. We used to turn the water. We used to turn the water. We turned the hot water. Off. They turned off. Right. So uh, only for Carlton. Every other club we thought we did. They yeah. got pressed. They, they had install a ream. Yeah. And, and we, then the we, other teams nah, just they installed turned the, the ticker off, mate. How yeah. good so was that? What? How would you describe Carlton people, Shorey? <laughs> oh, gee, they're a different mob. They're a different mob. <laughs> yeah, they're silver tails. Um, uh, right. Yeah, like I said, suit coat, suit coat of Victoria Park. Even matter of fact, we even beat them with the naming of their ground. Like they got Princess Park, mm-hmm. and we got Queen Elizabeth Park. Mm-hmm. So yeah, Queen Victoria Park. Get what yeah, I mean? Got that Victoria, wrong. Yeah. yeah, I got that yeah. wrong too. So that was a good line, wasn't it? But <laughs> anyway, um, yeah. But you know, I, I don't know. I, the one thing I loved about playing against them, like I said, we played in front of eighty thousand crowds, people, and we had some good wins. We had, the, like I said, the grand finals were horrible, but you know. Um, but we made some friendships a bit like... The only thing I hated these blokes about, we used to have an aftermatch where we go and have a cold beer. And these blokes come in one night and one they day. drank the whole budget of so the it, whole year in one night. We, were thirsty. we never had an aftermatch again ever after that. It was Carlton So did Car- Carlton ruined the aftermatch Carlton ru- function. And I think it was the uh, mighty... What do you call Your mosquito fleet? Half of those blokes there, that pissed, I couldn't believe it. But anyway. Shorey, no, I want to bring something to your attention. Yes. 
This is Craig McRae. He's currently the coach of Collingwood. Yeah. Do you notice anything that's on his polo shirt? Carlton Zero. How can you do that? Now, how do you feel about the fact that the current coach of Collingwood has the words Carlton yeah, well, on his he, uniform? I, I think we sack him. I, I don't care. Premiership last year. That you've forgotten, mate. If you don't win it again this year, he's a nothing. He's mm. a nobody. Right. So if you've got Carlton on any sort of thing that's it about Collingwood, it, you're sacking Is it more the responsibility of Craig McRae for getting this sponsorship deal or someone at Collingwood Marketing needs to take a good Ooh, hard look at themselves for allowing the words Carlton on the Collingwood Football Club I'll say Club uh, nothing about the Collingwood uh, Marketing Department who get me some free tickets. So I'll oh, say uh, nothing about this. So, that, well, is, that isn't good. You should, Howdy, you could you imagine? The, you should have a look at the Carlton one. Could we have full strength. <laughs> Carlton full strength. Okay, okay. so we don't yeah. muck around but, with a. So could water. you imagine if responsible if, drinking? No. Yes. If uh, Carlton, <laughs> I mean, what if Michael Voss had Collingwood as a sponsor on his polo shirt? He'd be sacked immediately. Right. But what about some pie but company actually, or something you, like the pie? Oh, pies. pies. Yeah. As a coach, you never Four know when you get sacked. It could be anything. You know? mm. Yeah, well, we've both been there. So, <laughs> no, no, because, you, you got sacked as captain. Yeah, of course. I resigned. Because, oh, like, too smart. I don't know if this is more about Australian sport, but, you know, if you, if you say you're in Glasgow yeah. and you go to Celtic. Glasgow. Go, well, here's an example. You go to Glasgow I'm yeah, I'm and you go to a Celtic versus Rangers game. Yes, there's no yes, way you. Coglu, yeah, I know the one. Yeah, yep. there's there's no way those two are talking together. People players from those two clubs well, are talking to each other. Nah, it's there's no way on. there's no way people are having beers together. I, I think I think you both like each other. The, well, I think well, it, you can't say like, mate. It just it, I get a rash when thinking about liking Carlton people, you know. Mm. But that's that's you another. You can have thing. a relationship. Yeah, it's sort of a distant relationship that we can see each other once, like we're doing this sort of stuff. We know we're How both getting paid. paid. I'm getting paid more than him, so it's fantastic. Yeah, that's fine. So, yeah. that's the Collingwood edge, see? <laughs> right. That's the Collingwood edge. <laughs> right. The smart. We're, we're paying. We're paying him in a brown paper see, bag. That's we're the, the Carlton. We're the, the club. Carlton of the, we're the club pay. of the people, mate. Mm. We're the club of the people. Are you? Yeah, and, and we're what? street smart. We're mm. these blokes, you know. Well, they even had what was a. Mike Fitzpatrick, what was he? He's a Rhodes Scholar. A Rhodes Scholar. Have you ever heard of that? What is it? What is have you heard? Of, <laughs> have you heard? Have Collingwood heard of Year Ten? <laughs> yeah. oh, about that. I went to. I went to Year Eight, mate. Oh, well, that's, that's very good. <laughs> Best three years of my life for me, Dad. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I reckon you used that more, gag more. before. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah, had some great times here, though. Yeah. Some great games, and nah. you, you know, seriously, this crowd when you actually oh, you get into yeah. that box there. So oh, the, the, they the, take you off the ground, the interchange bench. Mm-hmm. Turn and around, I'll, the camera's over there. Oh, sorry, yeah. we'll, get, so, oh, we'll not, get you to describe <laughs> the interchange bench <laughs> the later. The interchange bench was <laughs> just horrendous. Yeah. They threw beer yeah. in there, they were throwing things in no, there. It wasn't beer, it the wasn't ba- beer mate. Oh, something else. It didn't have Had a bit of froth on it. It could have been that. But let me tell you, it was frightening It was just brilliant. The best place to be was actually on the ground. You can't get killed out in the ground, but you can get killed here. Now, you... I what? just want to ask you about you and Billy Pickett because this yeah. was this was mm-hmm. one of the biggest rivalries within the rivalry. Yeah, you know, Billy, he, he just took mark of the year nearly every time you played against each other. How, <laughs> how did it feel? Felt great. <laughs> Felt fantastic. We won most times, so it doesn't matter. It, it, look, it's not about me. But, oh, is I, no, this is all about you. Oh, I know that. Listen, it's always been about so, you. But. <laughs> to go to a more for some more historical context. Yeah. 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 The grand finals. So oh, wow. basically, the, the rivalry kind of peaked Who won with that? the grand yeah, finals. So obviously, 1970, <laughs> 79, hey, Wayne 81. Arm. No, 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 hold on. Let's 81. go back. So, Wayne Harms. Yep. Everybody knows that ball was out. So we yeah, can take out. that. We but, put an asterisk on that one. <laughs> but vision emerged last year of an ABC version of that broadcast, and it looked like Harms was clearly in. Mm. ABC, what's that? Australian Broadcasting. Yeah. Yeah. They're getting a lot of things right at the moment, aren't they? Oh, so you're saying it's ABC conspiracy? No doubt. You're it. saying it's ABC bias, <laughs> mate? Hey, seriously, what? Just cop it on the chin. Man. You, you lost so, seventy nine. Yeah, seventy nine. You lost eighty. Yeah. You lost eighty one. No, eighty eighty was a different club. I, I don't give talk. a hoot. You lost eighty yeah. against Richmond, and then you, we beat you again eighty one. Yeah. And have you? And you've only just recovered. With, with Craig well, McRae. It took us another nine years to get it done another way, but against <laughs> no, someone. I wish it was against you, Blake. I oh. know. <laughs> oh, look, we dominated that final series in 1990, but I just thought the one thing, if it could have been Carlton, it would have been Brent instead of Essendon. That, that would have been just my... would have made my life. For the benefit, <laughs> could you imagine if this year's grand final is Carlton and Collingwood? What would oh. the city of Melbourne be like? Well, they need a bigger ground. Yeah. Yeah, that's what they need. Yeah. 
and it won't get a, it'll be done and, and you're gonna have to open up standing more standing room there'll be 125 but there could be 150,000 wanting to get in mm. but you know you'd have to have a bigger ground but it'll be magnificent actually let me tell you there's been some great grand finals and, they, and they've all been good the yep. close ones you've, you've lost because of small things and when well, I feel for you really you know you don't. He's lying. He's a lawyer. You can see it in his face. Did you see the sincerity then of how he said that? Mm. Uh, no, I said the lack of. I got it. Do, do you feel that the Carlton Collingwood rivalry may have dwindled? No. And certainly the past oh, no doubt decade. It did. You know why? Because one team losers, was mate. crap and they the other crap. was good. They were crap. Yeah. They've been crap for twenty years. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. And now what we've had to do, we have had to become successful again. Mm -hmm. You know, to make sure that we did our part, and we're trying to pull them along. Matter of fact, you know, we're just trying. Everything we go to the AFL now is how can we help Carlton out to be at least competitive? <laughs> mm. It's cruel, mate. Is, is football better off for Carlton and Collingwood both being good? Well, I'll tell you, take them out of the, out of the, uh, yeah. occasion, out of oh. the occasion. Oh, that's you know, a great idea. Somewhere else and say, hey, Hang listen, on, are you, are you imagining, how's your football going to go now? Are, are you imagining a world without Carlton and Collingwood? Well, I'd, let me tell you, oh, if you did that, geez. they'd start their There's own no league. VFL, no AFL, oh, mate. No, mate. Don't worry about no. that. It'd be world peace.